watching this video if you really want to know about how to choose your supervisor. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Anupama Bora. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. I am going to share with you a really informative video. Last month I have shared a community post and I have got a really overwhelming response to this post and thank you for the feedback. So let's get started with today's video. So how to choose a PhD supervisor? So first of all, area of interest. If you are thinking of uh, pursuing a PhD degree, first you need to identify your area of interest and then find out professors who are working in that area. So first of all, you have to search for the professor. Then you can go to the institute website, NITs, IITs or any uh, national institute all the having faculty list so there you go check out the professor according to your area of interest search those professors list them out and then go to present students who are working with the professor check out those papers i guess it will help you out uh, immensely identify your area of interest and then merge that area of interest with the supervisor you want to work with another way i would like to tell you how to search a professor is that Firstly, check out the institute website and secondly, you can search the professor's profile in Google Scholar. Google Scholar is basically uh, a place where you would find all the professors mostly, like not maybe not all professors, but mostly the renowned professors and professors who are working currently. So you will find their profile and all of the work they have done, the, the publications, the journal articles, patents and any project they have worked with, uh, maybe some collaborative work. Just check that out and it's an easy process. You can directly go to Google, search Google Scholar and then search that uh, professor's uh, name which you have found out from the institute website, search on the papers. Sometimes what happens is institute website, some of the latest works are not updated. It will be easier for you if you search in Google Scholar. Second option is that you can go to ResearchGate. Uh, ResearchGate also from there also you will get a lot of information regarding the uh, supervisor's work, what he is working on and what kind of work he deals with. One more thing is that while searching for a supervisor, when you are going through his work, so please read some of his latest work that will help you out what kind of impact of work he is doing and or how it resonates with you. So if you are inclined towards that kind of work, uh, then you can contact the professor. Uh, nextly, what you can do, contact any of the graduating students or present students who are work, working under that professor. You can talk with them, you can contact them and, and get to know what kind of work is going on in that lab. So in that way you can uh, get to know what kind of works are going on and uh, whether you are comfortable in that environment. In that way you can build a really preliminary knowledge regarding the professor and what the professor is working on. So I guess it will be really helpful for you in that way. This is just a suggestion what I feel it's really easy to search a professor. The point is time management. So yeah, this is a really important point while choosing your supervisor. So please take care of that and how much uh, time is required during that uh, work, what kind of work you are designing with your supervisor that is really important and how is the lab environment and how the supervisor wants you to work in lab, like what amount of time is needed to invest uh, while doing your work in day to day basis. So please be sure and get to know all this information before joining any lab or any faculty member. So please take care of all these things. These are really important uh, small details which will be really helpful for you when you join any lab. This point is compatibility. Yes, you heard it right. It's compatible. You really need to have a really good and healthy compatible relationship with your supervisor. You will yeah. be facing a lot of difficulties if you are not in sync with your supervisor's uh, kind of work and how he wants you to work. So please find a supervisor who uh, matches your compatibility. Yeah, why I am telling that because PhD program is not for uh, one or two years. In India, it basically takes three to five to six years. Uh, be sure to have a very good compatible supervisor. So you have to deal with all these things. Like in a romantic relationship or any friendship, you know that if your friends or your any partner don't have a good compatibility, yeah, you guys won't work out. So please be wise and choose uh, the supervisor.
supervisor in that way. Also, you can find some common interest if you have and you can share with your supervisor and take his advice once in a while and uh, like implement those things and show him. So in this way, it will be a really uh, good interactive uh, relation with you. One and yeah, at the end, he is the one who would give you the PhD. Nobody else can give you the PhD. But then what happens like your supervisor might not be happy with what you're working on and he might just uh, like, like like tell you some hard words or something sometime it happens he might not be in a good mood and you are very really disappointed and you might feel at that point that why did you uh, join that lab and in, it happens actually it's, it's a normal thing so that time uh, you have to be strong it's it's okay, sometimes what happens, even though you choose a very compatible uh, professor and you know he is always helpful, it, it, it might happen that he might not agree with your uh, results, whatever you are finding and might tell you to work out again and you might be annoyed. So these things are quite normal while doing a PhD and it's fine. But you have to be like in a good book with him, however possible. And take whatever advice he's giving to you, do not overlook it. But yeah, also think about how you are going to complete your PhD. So, supervisor's point of view, your point of view, we both have to consider it. Like both of these things are important. But please, uh, like try to maintain that balance. Like I am telling you, because it's really important to keep a balance in your work as well as that other other part of life you have uh, during your PhD. Because if you go too far, sometimes it might really uh, destroy you, uh, like your health, your uh, physical health, mental health. And you have to take care of it. And you are the one who will be working. Throughout the journey, you have to be your own mentor and your supervisor will only help you out during the difficult times. So you have to keep that in mind. In that way, you work hard. Another point I would like to share is that check out your supervisor's collaborative uh, aspect. So yeah, so this is also an important point where he's collaborating with other researchers or other professors. You can look out for the, those things whether he is doing some kind of funding project or some students are involved with that funding project, what is the impact of that uh, project and if you want to be a part of that kind of project, so it will be really good for you. If you beforehand know about what is going on in that area or how he is dealing with uh, collaborative research. So please get to know about all these things beforehand. Nextly, if you are allowed to have a co-supervisor, Please, please take a co-supervisor along with the main supervisor. So yeah, sometimes what happens, only one supervisor is allowed in some institutes. But yeah, I am from center. So from center what happens, I yes, can I choose for more than one supervisor. Or we, we are already allotted one more supervisor than our, apart from our main supervisor. It has helped me during my PG journey, I can tell you that. And for that, I would uh, recommend you to take any other so, uh, extra supervisor if you are allowed. And yeah, for us, it was a supervisor from a different department. Uh, he was not uh, in the same department of my main supervisor. So in that way, uh, what happens uh, to your own research also, when you are doing the research, you will get a different perspective from your co-supervisor. And yeah, it will only help you out uh, to carry out your research in a better way. And secondly, when your main supervisor is on academic leave or he is not present for some uh, like official work, you, you need to get some official work done and he's not there. So you would be really benefited if you have a co-supervisor. You can approach him and do out your necessary documentation or you carry on that. And yeah, and your work will be really a lot easier. The nature of your supervisor. So this point is not really a top listed but yeah it is important to know how is a supervisor personally and professionally how is he uh, his nature how he deals with students uh, what kind of work environment he wants and whether he's very strict or he's very relaxed you need to know about that and yeah uh, because mentally you have to be prepared for like three to five years you have to be prepared that yeah you have to work with this this kind of person on that and all the information you will get from your seniors or anybody who's passed out from the department or the professor supervisor so you will get a lot of information if you go and like you connect with the people 
and yeah like i would like to share that uh, even some of my juniors have uh, like uh, they have approached me uh, via social media and a uh, lot of platforms they have asked me regarding this all these questions so i'm sharing you from a personal point of view like if you get the chance to uh, like you know somebody and you know that uh, they can guide you properly please go to them your seniors or anybody who is uh, currently working or maybe passed out they will definitely help you out and yeah take take their point of view and also it's important that you don't totally entirely depend on their point of view you have to form your own narrative and also you need to study by your own uh, like own point of view like you need to study everything and then decide for you what is important what i would like to say that uh, it's not necessary that supervisor has to be very successful in order to guide you has to be a supervisor who can guide you and encourage you say a supervisor has to spoon feed you in every step but yeah he should be there for you whenever you have some problem during your pg time all these points will help you out to choose a supervisor in india and in abroad also obviously there are other criteria which you can look for so today's video is really helpful for you i'm happy that you guys are enjoying my content my research content informative videos and my travel videos you are thinking to join phd uh, you are not sure what kind of topic and how to uh, like do some research how to choose a research topic uh, during your phd time please watch that video i will give the link in the description below and also i will pin it up uh, in my video somewhere here okay please check that out uh, please do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and your family members please share with those who really want to join phd and they do not have any idea how to choose a supervisor and how would they need to do research please uh, help them out by sharing this video i will be there for giving you a lot of uh, advice as well as i will guide you thank you guys for watching today's video i am really glad that you have watched this video till the end please check out the playlist i have created for all of you guys so i share not only phd related topics i also share about travel and some other stuff please check out those playlists see you guys in my next video till then take care bye